I think it's always gone like, you know, Kansas was uh, just in terms of, like this whole little heartland area. Like, it was always Kansas that was absolutely cracked. Yeah. And then, you know, Cine Boo, of course, will go to Iowa, which means that, you know, they would have a stronger. But when they had Cine Boo and Ekme Banjo, Ekme Banjo, I think that's when Iowa was on top. But yeah, then they lost top. both of those people. Then it was yeah. like, all right. Yeah, because we didn't have no answers for uh, for Nev Mario and uh, Skillager Villager. But Man. those were different days right there. Not very many of us sages left who remember the magic of yore. Here we are right now. This game here is upon us, and this is Epic Gabriel versus Skittles. Now, this right here is a matchup as old as time, a tune as old as song. If you were around during the Wi-Fi era or some of like the mid to like late era of Nebraska Smash, then you know exactly how these usually go, which is like last hit, last stop. Down air there. Got one hit on the fair. Been a very interesting. So, uh, so Skittles does live in in Iowa now. So he's a Nebraska Iowa hybrid. Mm. But that doesn't mean that Skittles isn't in Omaha all the time. Like at the Fridays, I'm just like looking. So he played he played Palu last time uh, he went to a tournament, and I'm just like, his ass getting bored. <laughs> I'm just like, getting tired of winning. <laughs> I think he got second or third at that tournament, and uh, his older brother. Uh, uh, Cody O'Rodeo was there, and I'm just like, all right, what, what, what's, what, what is actually going on trouble right now? now. I'm yes. smashed, and that is going to kill. Yes, I like the fact that Gabriel actually went for the rinse and repeat on that. He probably figured, okay, he's going to drop shield, try to punish. There's no way he's going to outbutt this, but they got that small clank right there, and it looks like that gave Skittles just a little bit of breathing space needed to get that up smash going. So great stuff right here. Epic Gabriel, of course, slowing the match down a little bit. Backing off, has a head full of laser right now. I'd imagine he's going to save it to when Skittles is off stage. Ooh, okay. It's a very tiny foot. Yeah, that's a little boot, but it's still a Tim. Man. Little Tims are still Tims. It's a little bit cheap. That's right. Ooh, okay. Actually, bro, you'd be surprised. I was worried if yeah, I was like, uh, how much are baby it. Tims? Baby Tims are OD. Right. Tosses it off stage. He had no bomb in hand. No way he was going to be able to make it back onto the stage. Okay, got an arrow. No approach there afterwards. Backing off right now. Even stocks right now. Now, as we've seen here, the, due to the nature of both these two characters' designs, we have seen Epic Gabriel just, yeah, I'm losing. Uh, all it takes is one conversion. You don't got no bomb off stage oh, to yeah. reset you. You in some trouble. And it looks like Skittles understands the importance of holding on to a lead. Nice. Okay, because he could have easily went for, like, up B right there and uh, got his, his whole entire life blown up. But he's waiting it out, keeping this one relatively safe. Couple arrows there. Here on the shield. Uh oh, the down tilts are coming out. Uh oh, that's the party starter right there. Ooh, okay. He caught him. He's like, yeah, you can't down tilt my shield while I have this in my hand. Ooh, okay. Back here. Okay. Drop off the side of the stage. Oh, I think I've seen the beginning yeah. animation of Foyter come out right there. Quick fingers right there on Epic Gabriel's behalf. Yes, these fairs are starting to come through. He wants to be Epic Gabriel. Air to air right here. He's not giving it to him there. I think would be a slightly better option. Woo! Of course, you don't get the KO that you're yep. looking for. Oh, another miss. Smash, not scooping there. Yeah, a very rare miss. Usually we see those miss because, you know, Skittles is becoming very nair happy, and that move is super duper safe. I think like minus two or three on shield. Very, very good. But as you can see right now, that is not the case. And, and that's one of those things that like makes me wonder, uh, does Rob's up smash only scoop from the front then? Because we watched that happen twice in oh, a row. Oh, epic to the damn Gabriel, living up to the name right there. Epicness that was that string of events. I love that. Damn. Double down tilt into the gyro. And so we've seen both of his kills actually come from that move uh, here in this first game. All right, makes it back onto the stage. Uh oh, the one arrow. Okay. The Arrow Sheriff Jr. is here. We're going to take Rob back to the scrapyard. Uh-oh. Okay, he was able to just drift away out of that. I don't know if he had to jump either, so he would have been in some real trouble. That was, that was very patient. Like, he just, like, drifted away. And you're just like, I'm just going to slightly stay. I'm not going to jump, do anything that's going to extend my hurt box. He gets the grab up here. Some much-needed damage. Because uh, you need the damage way more than Gabe does here. That's facts, yo. Gabe oh, gets the one. down tilt oh, into the damn. up smash. Damn, all Gabe needs, like I said before, yeah, is just bro. one mess up, and you are in for a world of hurt right there. But great options right there from Skittles, especially on some of the, the coverage. Again, that yeah. Nair, I mean, that Nair should, you got to take this character to jail, bro. Yeah. Nair is not okay. I mean, like, Nair's not okay on Big Link either, but it's especially not okay on Big Link. Um, you know, again, some of the good grounded options that Skittles has, those tilts, some of them relatively safe on shield. Frame forward jab, I mean, 
you know, he's kind of armed to the T in the normals game. His only issue in air quotes is like his struggle to kill at times. Yeah. All right, so moving into this, uh, to this game number two, uh, there we Ugh. go, Skittles Ugh. picking that up. He was like, you know what? All three of my deaths in that previous game involved this little object here. Let, let me take it away from yeah. you. Okay, get up attack, grab. Safe distance. Down throw. Again. Back air. That's right. And I feel like we get a full scope, like a full range of Youngling's toolkit in some matchups like these. Like, you have to use every little thing versus Rob. Okay, short hop fair. Again, not making him think twice. Another thing that we didn't see as much of in that last game from Skittles is that ability to harass Rob's landing options. I know it's a bit tougher on Youngling just because some of his attacks are a bit stubborn in comparison to some of the other sorties in the business. But up air lasts quite a bit of time. And yes, you know, up B goes a vast Woo. distance in air, but you got to put that move out. He can't air dodge through that. Okay. Um, ooh, okay. Oh, sexy business not right nice. there, man. Not yeah. getting all of it, but that's some, still some pretty cute damage. That's right. And that's just definitely said. You ain't the only one with item play, my friend. What's up? Um, oh, dang. Oh, that oh, still oh, hit him. Oh. All right. Down air. Throwing these projectiles, trying to back Rob into the corner. Like, give me this, man. All right, up air, still not killing. Rob sitting at 180, and then the, the Young Link issue is coming in. A Young Link just not being that character that's going to get those raw kills. You're always going to need, like, an arrow or a boomerang into something. Right. That's right. He needs that, that key to success right here. But Rob can just kind of blow that door down. I still need the key to come in nice. But, yes, forward throw at 215%. I would like to say that stock was well past his prime, but... Know, just given everything that Epic Gabriel has brought to the table, I feel like he could have got at least another 30, 40 percent and played properly. As scary as that is to say, now 86 percent ain't too bad in the ground descent. But one thing that Skittles does find himself in a lot is off stage, man. Epic Gabriel, I mean, he takes no prisoners out there, my God. Okay, he knew, and it's that split second decision making that makes Epic Gabriel so dangerous. The only one to switch the mindset from forward air to side B, I think, kind of makes all the difference versus Young Lee. Oh my God. Arrows, which is dipping and diving through. Woof. Oh, Bear. okay. Catches it. Okay. Bear. Nice solid damage. 69 damage on Rob. Oh, gosh. All right. That just like box. that. You know, Rob sitting at 101 damage. He's going to make it back to the stage, though. Just land on the platform. Two hits of a fair. Not going to kill. That ain't big lane. No, it ain't big lane. That's for damn true. Up for one arrow. Boom. Uh oh. Somebody needs to evolve. That's what this song means. <laughs> I need somebody's time to evolve with yeah. a song change like this. What's up? Did you go to the Temple of Time real quick? Something, bro. Man, I actually a match. Ooh, okay. All right, I did it. Dang. So, uh, I mean, un unexpected. So, it it's never a surprising thing when you watch a young link put on a bunch of damage, but it's just no. like when you when you walk out when you watch him out race to get the kill mm -hmm. against a character like Rob, you're just like, ooh, gosh. All right, laser. Yep. So we're sitting at. One stock apiece, zero percent on both of these characters. Well, what's what's the key here, man? I think the key right here to success is just to, I think, really to slow this match down. I, I think, yeah. See, on Epic Arrow's behalf, it's definitely to slow this match down and not to let Youngly kind of close that distance yeah. out. When he gets up close and personal, he's reading Gabriel dropping shield again. That frame four near, or frame four jab is gonna come into play. We've been seeing him basically use every single tool in his toolkit. You know, and then some to really find a, a way to get in on Gabriel. Gabriel, though, you know, I think he's been kind of handling Skittles the way he's supposed to. You know, again, we can box up close. You know what my jab does. You know what my down tilt does. I got you off stage. You're off your feet. You know how I harass. It's just one of those characters where, like, it's just so polarizing, it's hard to stop. See, like this here, this is just what you're supposed to do with Rob. This isn't oh, yeah. anything out of the ordinary. This is exactly what Gabriel does right here, and it works so well. Spin, cycle, is going to close it out right there on Skittles. Yeah, there are just certain times, you know, you're just a big character. You got to throw out them hitboxes, man. And that's what we saw there. We saw the back hairs coming out. We saw the nares coming out. Yep. Uh, demanding a lot of space. Even if you're not hitting, uh, you are slowly gaining that stage position, pushing Skittles to the side of the stage to where you can get the rotor arm. Yep, yep. And we 
just seeing how dangerous that move can be in the corner. Um, you know, especially for a character like Yelling, who has great movement options, you probably think, well, I'm in the corner, let me just jump out of this. Or let me just try to roll through this. And it's like, uh, not this one, bro. Like some of the other moves Rob got, sure. I might even tell you to try to roll through up smash before I roll through smash. <laughs> oh, man. If I'm keeping it a stat. Not that uh, I advise anybody to do that. I mean, it's definitely ill advised. But you get where I'm going with this. That is kind of like, I want to say, like, if this was an actual Pokemon match or like a turn based RPG, that is Young Link's, like, I don't know what kind of weakness is that side beat. Seen that a few times. Oof. Okay, gets the nair. Down air. Has Ooh. drop off stage, forward air. Retreats back to the stage. Okay. Brings it up here from Gabe, not panicking. Okay, trying to slowly bring himself down with these projectiles. Yeah, looking to regain some stage control here. And again, the item play is becoming a little bit too much right here on Skittles, but have that gyro. Not taking any prisoners. Nice. Immediate Nair on the way down. He knows that sometimes Skittles, he panics options on his way down, or sometimes even autopilots. We see a lot of Nair on shield. We see a lot of Forder on shield. The average player character can't quite handle that. But Gabriel, somebody who has who is as seasoned as he is, despite, you know, being such oh, a yeah. young man, he's like, uh, you land with Nair, bro, your ass in some trouble. It so. is, it's kind of crazy to think about, like, both of these guys and uh, how young they are, but still being considered veterans because they were here for Smash 4. They most definitely were. I remember uh, teaming with Skittles at uh, one of the arcade games. <laughs> just being sold. I was like, man, Skittles is some fun. So I'm like, just me, like, put it up. But now, Skittles is, he's the man. Oh, he's the gosh. man. Like, there's just no other way to put it. Like, I don't want to see this young link in a dark alley. I'll put it that way, man. So, Especially he, wearing this fit. You just see the red eyes floating. It's over for me, bro. Stay inside, boy. Then we got Gabe here who's a... Uh, always doing some things over in Florida and decided to bring his talents to the Midwest. LeBron James brought his talents from South Beach. I don't think he was in Miami, but <laughs> brought his talents from Miami. And now here he is here in the Midwest. Uh-oh, yeah, watch how he jumps off that corner. I like that from Skittles, staying more grounded now, using, just, again, his grounded options to fight his way out. He knows that if I go for a jump, he's going to meet me with forward air. He's possibly going to up tilt me. Let me keep it cool. Oh, running reverse up tilt. Love Oof. that. Charge there on that. Nair coming up. Okay, this match starting to spiral out of control. Nair, that is going to do it from across the seven seas right there. The right side to the left side, up tilt. Okay, once a few moments were coming down with an aerial, actually came out to benefit you. Oof. Oh, no. Oh, got the tether there. Makes his way back on. Let's see if he's able Ooh. to pile on any damage having Rob at the ledge up B what's the punish the deck he was able to roll out of there before the Rob now too bro, well he still had to turn around so I don't know how many frames turn around is but he still had to turn around and then go for down tilt. unfortunate had to drop shield turn around and then go for down tilt. there's a lot more to it than just that so Okay, looks like, you know, Skittles with a second lease on life right now, keeping this one a bit closer. And I think Epic Gabriel probably expected, given how this match started out. But again, find himself off stage. This is where he does not need to be early on the forward air. Bomb in hand and tried to throw it. I feel like if Bomb wasn't in hand, he may have been able to go for, like, possibly a forward air or a nair just to have an attack on the way down. But had to throw the bomb because did not want it to detonate and then find himself in a weird spot stuck in hit stun. Another down tilt coming out. Back here has Rob off on the side of the stage. Gabe makes it to that platform. Uh, I mean, it's just a great luxury when you're a, a big, heavy character uh, like Rob, but you you know, have such great movement options to where you're not going to get stuck on ledge and build up a lot of damage. Ooh, dang, through the stage. Just the tech, though. Oh, you tried it. Don't ever try things. Okay, I like that. Just kind of ran up twice just yeah. to check the temperature. What's he going to do with it? Uh-oh. Okay, get, get up, up attack. attack. Split second decision making right there. The average player probably would have just hung at the ledge and waited, Bad but this got attacked. This ain't. Okay. Mm. Oh. Okay, on the delay. Had to sacrifice a little damage right there too, but yes, the delay. Again, a lot of split second decision making coming out right here from Skittles. This is kind of showing his, you know, again, his young man reactionary time kind of coupled with the fact that he has kind of the wisdom of a of a veteran Smash player, again, despite how long he's actually been in the community. So clean stuff right here, man. Skittles looking really poised to possibly make a comeback, but Epic Gabriel, you've seen him in spots like this in tournaments past. He rarely ever drops these. Most definitely. All right, Gabe playing around, being safe. Ooh, getting the back here, and that's going to kill cross stage. Epic Gabriel is going to go into, it's going to take him into winner's finals versus Candle. Yes, sir.